Good evening folks, this is Final Flash 50 and I'm gonna go ahead and kick this gaming channel off with the very first Sonic game ever made. Sonic the Hedgehog in 1991 on the Sega Genesis. Let's give this a go. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and introduce Sonic the Hedgehog as a whole to anyone out there that actually still doesn't know who Sonic is. He's basically a blue hedgehog who has the power to run incredibly fast. And what you do in every Sonic game is collect gold rings. These gold rings you see around me are Sonic's whole life. He cannot get enough of them. They basically work as his health bar. Like if you get hit when you have rings, you drop them all and they're bouncing around you for a second and you can collect them back. And if, if you get hit when you have no rings, you die. And then if you crush a monitor with a ring on it, you have 10 rings. And then there's also the invisibility monitor where um, you get it and there's sparkles around you. Usual invisibility, you can't get hit by enemies or anything. About rings though, if you manage to collect 100 rings, you get an extra life. That's what that, well, there's a little jingle that plays for it. But if you have 50 rings by the end of the stage, you get that huge ring that I just jumped into. And that huge ring takes you somewhere um, before the next level. Where does it take you? Well, it takes you here. Yeah, this is the special stage. And, uh, yeah. Take a look at it, it looks special. It looks special. Um, yeah, basically what you want to do here is uh, that crystal right there. That's a Chaos Emerald. And there's only six of them in this game. After Sonic 2 and all the rest of the games after that, there's actually seven. And he gets a, he gets a special power from them. But there's only six here, so we can't do that yet. But I'm going to go ahead and get into the level system of this game now because, you know, you see we're in level 2 and it looks exactly the same. Basically, there's zones and then acts. Uh, there's three acts per zone. We're in the second act, so after we beat Green Hill Zone, all three acts of it, shit will start to look differently. But that's the speed shoes monitor. Now I run really fast. Look how much air you can get just from running a little bit. Look at that. You can actually get to places that you couldn't get before with it, like uh, right here. If you run and land in just the right spot, you can get this Sonic monitor. The Sonic monitor gives you an extra life. I don't know, I guess I'm just trying to show you all the monitors right now, because I've already been like ridiculously instructive about this game so far. That I guess the, the way I'm looking at it is that all these classic Sonic games work exactly like each other. So if I just explain everything here in this first run, I don't have to do it anymore. Because I do plan on doing a good bit of the Sonic series, and then a few other games fan-made. But there's Act 2. Alright, so I guess I should tell you more about the stage while we're here. Um, all the crystals you see along the wall, they're just the wall, they don't really do anything. These R blocks actually change the way the stage is spinning. These peppermints are just to get in the way, they don't do anything either. The things with the star on them bounce you, they're a bumper. The blocks that say up and down actually change the speed at which the stage is spinning. And then there's these little crystals before the emerald that you have to chip away. I just know that pink is the weakest and blue is the strongest, I don't know the order of the other ones. But of course, there's the Chaos Emerald itself, too. That's two. Alright, so now that we're in Act 3, though, we don't have to worry about getting 50 rings by the end of the stage. Because at the end of Act 3, of every zone, is not a goalpost. And that's where the big ring spawns, is by the goalpost. No, at the end of Act 3 is a boss. There's a boss we're gonna fight. So, you don't have to get 50 rings, you just have to get enough to survive, which is just one. You can speed through it as fast as you want. Especially if you're invincible, that shit always helps. No, but okay, so at the end of Act 3, you're always gonna find the same boss. You're always gonna find the same angry man. And that would be this guy. This is Dr. Robotnik. Well, his name has actually been Eggman for a very long time now, but he was always Eggman in Japan. And basically, he's coming after us with a ball and chain that you have to dodge. You really just have to jump at him and fall through that gap. It's not that hard. And at the end of each zone, he has a new ship to attack us with. They all take eight hits. None of them in this game are too hard. But that actually leads to the story of this game. All these animals you see here, Eggman kidnapped them, and he's turning them into robots to take over Sonic's home island. That's where we are, South Island. This is where Sonic lives, and we gotta stop Eggman. Alright, we're in Marble Zone now, and I know I said that things would start to look different once we got to a new zone. Well, I guess things don't really look that similar to Green Hill. I guess just the grass is what I'm seeing. They just reused the grass for this, but it's definitely a new zone. There's lava now, there's new enemies, and that's the last time they're going to reuse a level layout in this, in this game. 
That's the very last time they're going to reuse a level layout. But yeah, this is Marble Zone, and it's definitely more deadly than Green Hill, I can tell you that. Well, you jump on these right here, they catch on fire, because that's lava. It's not that hard. They don't even catch on fire if you jump quick enough. Alright, you see this blue thing around me? This is a shield. You get it from a monitor, and it's actually really useful. It defends your rings. Like, if you get hit when you have this, you lose the shield, but not your rings. So that's actually a useful tool if you're trying to get 50 by the end of the stage, if you're trying to get the emeralds. Yeah, Marble Zone has you do some puzzle solving, though. You push the block down on the switch so you can keep the door open. Oh, Marble Zone. Look, you get a shield monitor when you already have a shield. You get a double shield. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's still just one. Uh, this part here, don't get crushed. Well, don't fall in the fucking lava, first of all. But especially don't get crushed. Well, there's actually two things in Sonic games that can kill you instantly. Falling into a bottomless pit and getting crushed. Also, there are secrets in Sonic games. This one here, go into a wall, you get an extra life and 40 rings. What a find. Seriously though, let's get out of this death trap, Jesus. Alright, so, I've had enough of Marble Zone Act 1. I think it's time we got back to hunting down the Chaos Emeralds. And we are good to go. About this next special stage though, this next special stage is special stage number three, and it's, I think it's actually the least favorite one among most Sonic fans because, as you can see, this is just some big open chamber that you're supposed to fall your way to the center of. There's obstacles everywhere. I know it looks like it's this big open spacey thing, but I promise you, it's crowded in here. It can be really hard to fall your way to the center and stay there long enough to, you know, break away enough of these crystals. Luckily it doesn't seem to be giving me too much trouble in this playthrough, it looks like I might actually get this third emerald in not too bad of time. Luckily enough, this special stage can take forever. It certainly has for me before, but that's it for part 1. We're going to continue this game in part 2, see you then.